Freezing white flakes fell from the sky. It was too cold to go outside and play in the snow. Two children watched huddling together as the ice covered the windows of their little cottage. They could smell the sweet ginger that filled the air. The welcoming smell came from grandmother's kitchen. All year long, their little grandmother saved and saved to buy flour and ginger to make her little dear ones a sweet treat. On the coldest day of the year, all her efforts paid off. She whistled a little tune as she mixed sweet cinnamon and ginger in a small bowl of flour. She stirred and stirred until a pure tan color filled the bowl. She next beaded two eggs into the fluffy tan flour. Grandmother giggled as she heard footsteps and little eyes peeking through the kitchen door. She knew that her dear little grandchildren were waiting there impatiently for her cinnamon treat. The old woman poured the tan dough onto the counter so that she could knead it. She winked at the children before molding the dough. She molded the dough slowly to make a little man with little round head, oval shaped body, and body with stumpy limbs. The little man appeared on the cookie sheet before making his way to the steamy hot oven. The little man laid there until he became a little golden crispy man. Grandmother took the cookie sheet out so that it could cool a little while. When the little gingerbread man was cool, the old woman placed two chocolate chip eyes on its head and three colorful gumdrops for buttons which she placed on its chest. But something strange happened as the last gumdrop was added to the little man. All the love she had put into making the little gingerbread man caused him to leap off the cookie sheet. It gave a little wave at the little grandmother before he hopped away. The old woman was in so much shock that she didn't see the little gingerbread man jump into a mail slot on the kitchen door as he slipped out into the cold afternoon air. Steamy heat came off the gingerbread man as he hopped about in the snow. He happily swinging his arms about as his sweet cinnamon smell drifted in the air. A snow fox was soundly sleeping curled up in a foxhole, not far from the gingerbread man. The smell of ginger filled the cave, waking the vixen. She opened her eyes slowly as she spotted a strange thing outside her cave. It looked like a little man, but it was no bigger than a newborn pup. Whichever it was, it smelled really good, and the fox had not eaten in many hours. She slowly crawled her way out of her foxhole and made her way to the place where she had smelled the gingerbread man. Because it was so cold, the gingerbread man's joy went away and all the heat left his small body. This was not good. The cold snow was making his feet soggy. He threw his hands in the air as he panicked and ran in a circle. What's the matter, my dear little friend? Is the snow dissolving your little feet? Pointing her paw at the gingerbread man. The little gingerbread man stopped panicking as he looked up at the strange furry creature. He nodded his head at her question and he tried to grab onto her fur. Oh my, I see. You can crawl on my back and I will take you home. As she leaned down so the gingerbread man could hop on her back, once the gingerbread man was on top of her, she started to walk. The farther she walked, the deeper the snow came upon her. My dear friend, you should hop on my head before snow gets on you. Saliva dripped down from her lips. The gingerbread man nodded his head as he slowly climbed up to her head. He looked down. He watched water drip from his friend's mouth. He wondered if she was getting tired from carrying him. He petted her on the head, trying to make his friend feel better. I'm fine, dear, but the snow is getting higher. Hurry, move closer to my snout. I can stick it out above the snow to keep you safe. Then she licked her lips. The ginger man looked to his side and realized that she was right. He slowly did what she asked. Do you want to see a magic trick, my dear? <laughs> Eyes looked ahead at the man. The gingerbread man clamped his hand in joy at her question. He loved magic, especially because it was how he came to life in the first place. The evil smile spread across the fox's face as she slowly swinged her nose into the air. The little man was sent flying into the air. She slowly opened her mouth, revealing her white, sharp teeth. The gingerbread man wiggled his arms in the air while trying to fly away from death, but it was too late as he disappeared into the dark hole of the fox's mouth. She licked her lips happily, satisfied. She made her way home. Didn't your mother ever teach you to never trust strangers? <laughs> Snuggling into her fox's hole.